Hello, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on converting Drupal 5 themes to Drupal 6. Now, this is extremely easy, and why would you want to do this? Well, you'd want to do it to help the Drupal community, because a lot of good themes are only for Drupal 5, or are only in dev, and have never actually been released. Um, so I'm going to show you how to bring a uh, Drupal 5 or Drupal 4.7 themes up to, to the, the latest version Drupal 6. And there's uh, some very simple um, things you have to do. So I'm just going to show you a quick example today. And I'm going to go through a little bit of what you want to do. Um, so there's one web web page I want to share with you first. Th this is converting Drupal five from themes to Drupal six. It is Drupal dot org slash node slash one three two four four two. This is a very good link and it's um more than I'm going to talk about today because I'm basically going to show you the core of upgrade theme. So, the scenario that I'm going to show you today is upgrading this theme, the Abbey theme, from Drupal 5 to work with my installation of Drupal 6 here. Um, and as you see, there's no Drupal 6 release. Now, just to be clear, I never actually converted this theme before, so I don't know what to expect. Um... So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is download that. And we're obviously going to put it in our web page. As you see, this is in my website slash sites slash all slash the name of the theme. And this is kind of the um, file structure that you get. Now. If we look in the theme, the first thing I'm gonna, this theme is called ABAC and it's for, for Drupal 5. Now, this code is only one file we need to add to change it, but there's one thing I want to talk about first. When I download themes, I'm always shocked at some people's markup and and want to change it. I always stress that you always have to refrain from doing that when it's someone else's work because you never know what quite is going on. So the first thing I'm gonna do is delete the black version of this theme because it's just a whole another theme and um, we don't need to deal with that right now. So I'm just gonna get that deleted. It's the Abek underscore black theme. And you'll find that with a lot of themes. Zen's really bad for this. The Zen theme. So it's deleted. So now we've just got a little bit of a cleaner place to start. Now I'm gonna delete the I'm gonna leave things as they are actually. So if we go into our Drupal installation and now we'll try and enable this theme, this is basically the default um Drupal 5 one that you get which I haven't changed other than what you just saw deleting a part of the theme that I know we're not going to use um, so if we go into our theme page 
we see that the theme is not there. Um, now, what do we need to do to make it there? Well, we need to provide something that's new in um, Drupal 6, a dot .info file that's required for, for by all themes. So, um, and we've got name, description, we've got these regions defined, and regions are basically places where you stick content, and we've got that same, the style, style.css, but we don't actually need to, um, put that in. So, all of that if we just deleted all of that that bottom code that would work but we're just gonna um, do it so I'm, I'm simply gonna change the name of that to I'm back And I'm going to leave my generic description. I'm going to save it. As. Into my. Theme folder. In Drupal. This is in sites, all and then themes. And in my folder, and I'm just gonna name it. Our back. So it's going to be abac.info. So there's another file that we're going to want to edit, and that's the uh, page.tpl.php file. Um, the reason why we're going to want to edit this is because we've just defined some new custom regions. So what I mean by that is we defined the sidebar right um, ver variable to be a right. And these are all the variables that we define for our different regions. So, what that means is that when we want to print out our um, Right sidebar, we have um, the right variable. Now, I'm just gonna uh, get rid of th this piece of code right here because we can define the print CSS file in our info file. And when it's someone else's code, it's always a good idea to leave it alone as much as possible. But there's some core um, things that we need to do. Just with the addition of that info file, that's the only core change from Drupal 5 to Drupal 6. So that would work. I just want to tell you then. Um, so we don't need to change much of this. The only thing we need to change is when it prints out the um, left sidebar. So we've just defined it as instead of sidebar underscore left like it used to be, we've defined it as simply left 
so we're just printing left and we've got some secondary links there and we've got nowhere we're printing our right sidebar but it would basically say sidebar right and then we could change turn us up but if we uh, look down here we're printing the content variable which is the most important we, by changing that variable m made it print the, the, the left sidebar in the right place so it's we're going to save that And now, if we go back to our website and refresh, and we see that the new ABAC theme is available and it has my description that I set. This the, the default screenshot because it retained it so that's creating an info file is all you need to change it from Drupal 5 to Drupal 6 so now if we enable that it should display just like it did in Drupal 5 okay so not too much of a disaster, we've got our header, our footer, um, our logo, our title, our navigation, all, and our fonts are all correct, all converted to a, to a theme into Drupal 6 just by the addition of one small file. So, Thank you for watching this video and I hope it's helped you. Happy theming.